Hello! Welcome to the Isle of Wight. Isle of Wight basically means Island of Wight. So if you don't know about it, of course here we are. I'm here, you can see behind me the sea. The waves are pounding the beaches. And uh, of course across there, if you can see further down as you across the sea, there is a city of Portsmouth. So the city of Portsmouth, of course, that's on the other side. But here I'm talking about what is happening now. What am I doing here? Of course, I'm doing the Word of God. The Word of God which gives us life. Yes. And the Word of God which God breathed into the world for me to have life, for you to have life. That's God. God is the one who created the heaven and the earth and he created the seas as well. And that's how God, how great he is. The last time when I did the videos about creation, I presented this Bible and one of my viewers said, look, your Bible is torn. You say your God is a creator. How come you're using a torn Bible? Of course, to me, it didn't really matter because the Bible is not the outside which really matters. It's actually the inside, the Word of God, which gives us life. But for the sake of my viewer, the one listening now, I've got another Bible. That's a new one which I'm going to be using. Of course, the important thing is what's inside. That's what God gave. Today, I'll talk about something which I noticed when I went to the Isle of Lewis. Isle of Lewis is on the other side, up north. And this is Isle of Wight. I found this. I hope you can read this. It says, Honesty Box. Honesty Box. So, Honesty Box means it's a box whereby you have to put something in there out of your honesty. You put something there according to how you see it. The other time I talked about being honest. In other words, I went to Cornwall and in Cornwall I found that people were selling things on the bench outside. At the bench there was nobody there really. But then they wrote and they put like a box I didn't write honesty box but you drop in money there so you take the product which you're looking to buy and then you drop the money in a box but there was no one looking and of course there was also you know like the price was written but no one saw whatever you put in there it was you yourself and your mind to be honest now in this case in my new Bible I'm going to read to you the book of Matthew. Yes? Take your book as well. Book of Matthew, chapter 7, and I'm going to read verse 12, which says, Therefore, all things that you would want men to do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Basically, I would say, do unto others as you'd like them to do unto you. So whatever you're doing to somebody, you must put it and reverse it. Somebody doing that to you. The same thing. So if you are giving a gift to somebody and you have thought, this is a gift for that person. If somebody turned around and gave that gift to you, how would you feel? How would you take it? That's what, that, that's what it is about honesty, about doing something which you think is right for the next person. Yes, and that's what you and me have to. Well, it doesn't matter whether you're Christian or not. Whoever you are in this world, whether you believe in God or not, the important thing is you have to be honest with yourself and of course with the others. Yes, to be honest is important because sometimes you do a business. You have to be honest. I'm charging the right amount. Sometimes you're selling something. 
you have to be sure that in your mind you're sure this is the right price for this thing don't overcharge probably also don't undercharge because you have to gain you have to make a business still yes I had I've got a friend of mine whom I met you know in town uh, he's a nice guy and he, he, sometimes he uses a bike and he, he parks his bike outside somewhere and then I know he's here because his yellow bike is outside and one day I found him he didn't have a bike I said where's your bike mister and then he says my back is broken I said oh and he said I want to sell it then I said do you want to sell it because it's broken he says yes I said oh why do you want to do that if something is broken either you go repair it use it or repair it sell it so in other words somebody is selling you something because it has a problem imagine somebody selling you something which has a problem that's why we read here do unto others as you'd like them to do unto you would you love it if somebody was selling something to you which is broken would you of course you would not you would actually be very angry with that person you say how can you sell me something which is broken so honesty is very important because if you're honest then your mind is free if you're honest you are happy in your business if you're honest of course you know you're doing the right thing and also you are helping the other person because at one point let's say you're buying a car the car is has got a problem either with brakes or maybe paint maybe the wipers are not working maybe the engine it doesn't start properly in the morning sometimes it does not and then you feel oh, I'm gonna sell this car you're selling the car fair enough but then when the other person gets the car is gonna inherit the same problems you had but you have taken his money how honest are you? Definitely you're not honest. So in this life, in this world, it's very important to be honest because when you're honest, then you have a free conscious. You're not guilty. You are a free person. So let's learn to be honest. In the next video, let's talk more about being honest. See you in the next video.